With everything set up on the Invisio Pro, we can move on to starting a job. To do so, just press the play button on the main screen. Then, verify that the correct crop is listed in the yield monitor settings. Today we are also loading a couple reference maps to go with our job. If you have more questions regarding prescription or reference maps, please see the current version of the Invisio Pro manual found on ravenhelp.com. When you have the correct maps loaded, if you need them, and the correct crop selected, just press the check mark button to start the job. Now that we are in a job, let's take a minute to review the data provided for you on the screen. The upper right hand corner displays the moisture being measured in the harvested grain and the BPA dry shows your bushels per acre. You can toggle this setting to show BPA of wet yield as well. The bottom left button will take you between the yield and guidance screens. In the yield view, we can see the same moisture and wet dry yield data along with additional information. The AccuHeader controls can also be accessed from the job guidance screen. In here, we can see AccuHeader in action as it shuts off sections when it enters an already harvested section. You can also access the load weight and crop calibration screen from the guidance screen by pressing the moisture and yield values in the upper right corner. To properly calibrate our crop weight, we first need a load ready and then have a weight on a scale. Then, just press on the load weight to be calibrated, which will automatically input the monitor's load weight under the weight calibration. Next, manually enter in the scale weight. The Invisio Pro will automatically figure out the difference, and all you need to do is press the calibrate button. Here we show you this process on three different loads. Each load is more accurate than the previous. Always make sure and calibrate the first three loads of any new crop. On this screen, you can also easily adjust your working density after you checked it with the test weight scale. Also here is the moisture correction. This value will only need to be changed if you are able to measure moisture content with a separate moisture meter and if the two measurements are not the same. If they are different, Raven recommends using the difference between the two readings as your correction percentage. Be on the lookout for vastly different moisture readings as this may indicate your Smart Yield moisture sensor needs to be cleaned. While in a job, the field review screen may be used to compare harvest map data with any crop maps that might be loaded. To get there, we press the menu icon and select the field review icon. From here, we can toggle our view to show dry yield, wet yield, or moisture readings. Well, that about does it for our video series on the Smart Yield Pro Harvest System. This collection should help you install, set up, and operate your system. Thanks for your time and happy harvesting.